So I have recorded. Um, yeah, okay. sure. Are you ready? Yeah, yeah, let's go. Okay, hello guys. Uh, this is uh, uh, this is Irene Zhao from uh, CEO of Konami Network, and this is me, Nathan, from Kairos Ventures and Koi Sixty Eight. So today we will have a Konami Network and Koi Sixty Eight Q and A session uh, with Irene, and we will have some plans upcoming for Konami as well as like the development stage right now. So yeah, I think like uh, I will leave it to Irene. So first question is basically, could you briefly introduce yourself uh, and Konami Network? Yeah, so hi everyone, this is Irene, CMO of Konomi Network, where I'm driving marketing, social media advertising, and community efforts. So previously, I have built relationship with and represented over 100 corporate partners in their online advertising campaigns, including like Huawei, Shopee, Grab, Lazada, etc. So Konomi is a decentralized money market protocol built using Polkadot Substrat. Konomi is working and working to provide active money markets across the entirety of the Polkadot ecosystem, as well as expand and integrate into cross-chain networks. Thank you. Yeah, so very helpful. So we've moved on to the next part of our conversation, sure. which is the Q&A session hosted by Koi68. So my first question for Konami is, Konami means joy in Japanese. So is this why you named it for your projects? And what's the origin and the meaning of the name Konami? And do you have any inspirations that have motivated you to build such an excellent project? So actually, right, our CEO, Ariel and COO Jaden came up with this name when they were in a cafe and the cafe name is Konomi. So I believe it's very important to choose who you want to work with. And most of our team members graduated from National University of Singapore and we have known each other for more than eight years. So I think the trust and chemistry among the team is unparalleled and it's always a pleasure to work with them. That's why I think the dynamic among the team motivates me motivates us to build a um, good project that will benefit the host um, ecosystem. Yeah. yeah, very helpful. So like as a decentralized money market, so Konami offers like several financial products that run on the Polkadot network. So including like we have like Konami Trade, Konami Lend and Konami Wallet. So could you share with us some details about these three key models? Yeah, sure. So Konami Trade allows users to assess liquidity for assets in the Polkadot ecosystem. So it supports smart contract based liquidity protocols, starting with constant product automated market makers. So users could connect decentralized wallets to the protocol and trade with immediate on chain execution. So for our Konomi Land is a decentralized money market protocol for users to borrow and lend assets. The product is currently based on a collateralized debt position model. It's a very important milestone for crypto assets to have compound interest. And this feature could also incentivize the users to hold the assets. So as for Konomi Wallet, it helps to aggregate user positions in decentralized wallets and to manage the active positions in the different protocols. It complements the Konomi Trade and Konomi Bank to give users the one-step experience to manage assets on the Polkadot ecosystem. Sure. So like uh, we we will talk a little bit like about the network development of Konami. So like, could you share with us some of the future plans such as like the marketing development yep. uh, plan and the recent activity for global expansion, so especially in our country in Vietnam. Yeah. So what is the strategy to attract new users to Konami and actually retain them with Konami? So actually, uh, we believe that both the experience and the new, new users of the blockchain are our target users. So for experienced users, they can use our loan fund pool to car carry out cross-chain arbitrage and leverage transactions. And also for the new users, they can use our products to obtain certain asset returns. So from next month, we are actually going to collaborate with some of our uh, local Vietnamese community and recruit people from the community to start translating our product into Vietnamese so we can reach a much wider audience. Yeah, so Thanks. that's like a very, very cool development stage yeah. in Vietnam, I think. So I know that Konami has been selected as one of the 12 most outstanding tech startup startups to participate in the Web3 Bootcamp, which is a very great news. So can you share with us why you joined this organization and how it would help to enhance the upcoming development of Konami Network? 
Um, actually, we are very proud to be one of the 12 teams selected out of 100 plus Polkadot projects by Web3 Foundation. We actually have been through many rounds of interviews, and we are glad that uh, Web3 Foundation and Parity have recognized uh, the potential of our project. So the training camp is actually a six-month program, and during this period, we will be able to communicate and communicate with and learn from um, the top projects in the Polkadot ecosystem. And uh, they also assign us a mentor to provide technical consultation and support. So I hope that um, we can significantly improve the quality of our product by the end of six months. Wow, very cool. So I think like we'll move on to the last question of yep. the section where we uh, Q and A hospitalized. So mm -hmm. 2021 has been like such a successful year for development of Konami Network. So do you guys have like any plans to participate in the parachain slot auctions after the registration uh, for your parachain? Yeah, definitely. So Konami actually would like to spend all our resources on the Polkadot parachain auction. We are aiming for the 5 to 10 parachain. And as for now, we are monitoring the Kusama uh, auction closely. So we are able to draft our crowd, crowd loan plan for the um, dot parachain slot auction in the future. Okay, so yeah, so that's it. Like that's the Q&A part of Koi68. So we've moved on to the Q&A, which is asked by the community. The, the community is very, uh, they ask a lot of questions about yeah. Kodama Network. So I think that like, this would be very interesting to, uh, to actually talk about. So like the first question we have, which is very interesting from a calco no name. Uh, we have the first question, which is like currently like DeFi platforms are constantly being attacked. Uh, so how did economy prepare for attacks when entering the mainnet? Um, so firstly, we will try to keep our logic as simple as possible so that we, we are not going to use the very complex logic. And at the same time, we will try to adopt the best practices to reduce the risk. And actually, we are um, actively finding all the um, trustworthy auditing firms to audit our code. So once, code, once the code is being audited, we will try to reduce the possible changes of the codes yeah, to minimize the risk. Yes. Okay, so that's the first question. So move on to the next question. We have a question from Mr. Guang. So one of the biggest reasons for the crypto bear market is from the China food, uh, China food, or like any other names that we could call it. So do you think that China will release more food for the end of 2021? Or, and what's your projection and how will Konami react when it happens? Um, I think China's war against cryptocurrencies doesn't really seem to have an end at the moment um, because just now, I mean, Anhui province just shut down uh, the crypto mining facilities a few days back. So I believe that um, China has its own very unique characteristic when it comes to laws and regulations. I think the Chinese government probably prefers the that cryptocurrency investment to be concentrated on the hands of a few high net worth individuals instead of the general public. Uh, we have already considered the uncertainty at the start of the project, and that's why we registered our project in Singapore instead of China, so that uh, we will be less affected by the policies of the Chinese government. Wow, so that's a great plan, I think. So yeah, uh, the third question from the community is from a member named Melissa02958. So Kono performance is not good recently, I think because of the bad market condition, but when comparing with other, you know, like great projects, so Kono is the one which dropped dramatically. And how does Kono, uh, Konomi think about these situations? And what is your plan to keep the price not falling further? So, you know, like, in Q3 and Q4 would be like the big step for Konami? Um, so I think the price drop is partly because of we have 30% token release for our private investors. So once the time came, they always like try to sell the tokens and uh, there's a constant selling pressure on our price. Uh, we don't actually want to manipulate our price, but instead we would focus uh, our energy on creating more use case and try to release more new products so that the value of Kono, so we would, so that's how we can add real value to Kono. 
And um, for Q3 and Q4, we are going to release the Konomi white paper version 2. And also our second testnet is coming up. It is completely new and different. So we redesigned our user interface, which is much more eye-catching than the current one. Yeah, I believe that um, it will be more beneficial for the project. Yeah. Very good. Okay, so I think like let's move on to our next question from sure. a member called Long Gu. So recently, like Kono has integrated with Chainlink for testnet, and how is the process going? And how does this benefit Konami performance in the Polkadot ecosystem? Um, so to support our cross-chain decentralized money markets, we need asset prices to calculate the value of outstanding loans and users collateral. So however, blockchain doesn't really generate global asset prices, nor do they have uh, building capabilities to call external APIs. And therefore, we required an additional piece of infrastructure, which is also known as the Oracle, to fetch external price data and deliver it to the economy network. So actually, we've been exploring various Oracle solutions and we found out that Chainlink is the industry leading Oracle provider and it already offers pre-built price Oracles for a wide range of assets. And that's why we use it so that we don't need to build our own from scratch. Okay, so yeah, that's very quick. We have moved through like four questions from the community. So we, I think like this is like the last question uh, from our community. So this question is from an account called TMD1806. So the question is like with the recent explosion of the blockchain industry, a day is coming when big players on the Ethereum will start migrating to Polkadot. And so how does Konami aim to stay competitive like and lead in the saturated field of DeFi? I think it's inevitable to compete with the top lending projects from Ethereum if they migrate to Polkadot. However, I think we are quite confident to compete with them as Konomi is the early bird in the Polkadot ecosystem, while our developers have more experiences with Subchat, and we also have received a lot of support, support from Web3 Foundation and Parity. And as far as we as we know, lending projects like Compound and Aave haven't really released any pallets on Substrate yet, and they don't have any plans for the slot auction. So we believe that uh, we could launch our mainnet ahead of them and thus acquire a good user base ahead of them as well. Yeah. So yeah, that's very quick. I think like we've moved through 10 questions uh, from our side as well, so from community as well. Yeah, and the very Vietnamese community, yeah, the Vietnamese communities, they are very fascinating about Konami and they are looking forward to see like what Konami will do in the future. Yeah. So like just one more thing, I think like to stay up to date with the latest yeah. uh, development of Konami, uh, we, uh, we like would love to check out the economy websites and also like social and community channels yeah. as well so we have uh, received the link of the telegram the twitter medium and youtube channel of konami i think that would be beneficial with a lot of information online so thank yeah. you and we'll see you guys in the next q a sessions thank you for listening thank you so much bye bye okay. bye please stay tuned to our latest development yes thank you